Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow and I'm sat in a Volvo S60 engineered by Polestar. Next to me is an Audi S4 Avant, next to that is a BMW M340i and next to that is a Mercedes AMG E53. It's the coupe as well. Ooh. And we are going to have a drag race. Now each of these cars have a slightly different performance orientated powertrain. So this Volvo has a two litre four cylinder petrol engine, but it's got a turbocharger and a supercharger, and it's boosted by an electric motor with 87 horsepower. And combined you have 405 horsepower and 640 newton meters of torque. We've also got an eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive, there is no launch control though, which is a bit annoying. And this thing weighs two tons. Oh, and it costs 56,000 pounds. That Audi has a three liter V6 diesel with 347 horsepower, but a whopping 700 Newton meters of torque. It's also got all wheel drive and an eight speed automatic gearbox, but it also has launch control. That thing weighs 1.8 tons and it costs 48,000 pounds. The BMW, meanwhile, has a three litre straight six turbo petrol engine with 374 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Also, it's got an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control and all wheel drive. And it's the lightest car weighing 1.7 tons. And like the Audi, it's 48,000 pounds. Finally, we come to the Mercedes. So that has a three litre straight six turbo, but it's also boosted by a little 22 horsepower electric motor. So combined you have 435 horsepower. So it's the most powerful car here. However, it's only got 520 newton meters of torque. It's also quite heavy, two tons, and it's quite expensive, 65,000 pounds. It has a nine speed automatic gearbox and all wheel drive, but no launch control. Anyway, before we get on with this race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. That way, I promise you won't miss another video. Also, when you're at it, please follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Lots of behind the scenes stuff. Definitely worth it, so go do that. I'd really appreciate it. Do you know what? I'm a little bit nervous about this race. This is the most powerful road car Volvo has ever made, and it's the second most powerful car here and I think the electric motor could boost it nicely off the start line, but I've got a horrible feeling that this might lose and that it might get beaten by a bloody diesel Audi. Do you think the diesel Audi is gonna beat this Volvo? Click on the pop-out banner up there to cast your vote. Have you done that? Let's find out if you're right. Start, but it kind of oh, it's a diesel Audi. What's uh, ah! can I beat the Merc? Come on, Volvo. I'm gaining on the Audi now, but there's no. Ah! I was gaining on that Audi, but there wasn't quite enough space. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the M340i demolished the other cars, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.7 seconds. Meanwhile, the Audi S4 and Mercedes AMG E53 both took 13.6 seconds, though the Audi was ahead by a nose thanks to the fact it got a great launch, while the Mercedes appeared to bog down off the line. Still, the AMG managed to beat the Volvo S60 Polestar, which did the standing quarter mile in 13.8 seconds, which, to be fair, isn't a terrible time. Now we're gonna have a rolling race in comfort mode from 50 miles an hour. I'm gonna call it in. Three, two, one, go! Come on, hybrid. Yes, hybrid was good. BMW kicked down well. Now you've had it. Yeah, Audi, not beating me now. That Merc got away good though. Even though I've got 87 horsepower motor, it got a better jump on me. 
that's the end. We know how this is playing out. Sort of redeemed itself, the Volvo did there a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to lock our cars in manual mode and we've got them in their sporty settings as well. So no gearbox kicking down to worry about here. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this, stop, 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 stop. This car can kick down. It won't let you hold the gear, this thing. Just kicked up and went into fourth and then it ruined everything. Sorry, everybody. Blame the Volvo and their lack of sportiness. Let's give this another go. See this Volvo will stay in bloody gear. Here we go. Stay, stay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, pulled all right, but so did everyone else. In fact, everyone pulled better. Now it's changing up automatically. I'm gonna take the Audi though. Here we go, it's neck and neck with that BMW. And the, no, not anymore. That BMW has beaten the Mercedes, and I'm just ahead of the diesel Audi. I think he's gaining on me. And he's past me. Freaking hell. You can tell that Audi is set up for the autobahn. You know, once you're over 100 miles an hour, 110, that Audi just started to pull back past this Volvo. Poor, poor Volvo. It's getting a drubbing by the Germans. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the line across the runway, we are gonna do a full emergency stop. Here we go, here's the line. Come on. Oh God, the seatbelt's holding me in because he thinks I'm gonna die. Okay, what has happened here? Well, quite clearly, the Audi has won. The BMW is clearly second, but I don't know whether the Mercedes stopped in a shorter distance than this Volvo. This is gonna require some further examination. Bear with me. Shut up. I know the engine's running. Do you know what, I don't really know. I think I'm gonna award it to the Volvo maybe by a few centimetres because I don't want it to come last again because it's had a bit of a bad day, really. Was I right, was I wrong? Click up there to vote whether you think the Volvo braked in a shorter distance than the Mercedes. You can decide. I'm gonna catch you inside. Well, there you go. I think the overall winner from this is the BMW. It is the quickest car and it's the second best at braking. So well done, BMW. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said before, please subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.